It was a beautiful summer evening, and John was strolling through the neighborhood with his friend Brian. They were chatting and enjoying the cool breeze when John noticed something odd around them. They were both cops, so being highly observant was part of their training. As they walked on for a while, Officer John turned back, suddenly only to notice a little movement just behind them. They both stopped to check, and what they saw next left them quite surprised. A little black puppy had been following them, and he hid behind a small pole. Just as they stopped, Joan smiled at the pup and stretched his hands, bidding it to come. He came out from behind the pole and ran up to them. Wagging his tail and barking happily, the two cops stopped to pet the puppy, and he seemed to be enjoying their attention. Officer John had noticed that the puppy had no collar or tags, and he guessed that it was a stray. He felt a pang of sadness for the little pup, who was all alone in the world. As they started to walk away, the puppy followed them, wagging its tail and looking up at them with big, hopeful eyes. Officer John chuckled and said, Looks like we've got a new friend, Brian. The puppy continued to follow them as they walked, and Officer John couldn't help but feel a connection to the little dog. Passerby around the street noticed the special situation, and some even took out their phones to take a shot for their favorite officer playing with a stray pup. Joan had always loved animals, and he felt a sense of responsibility to take care of the puppy. They stopped in a park, and Officer John started to play with the puppy, throwing a tennis ball for it to chase. The puppy ran after the ball with all its might, its tongue rolling out of its mouth in excitement. Brian laughed and said, Now you've really got yourself a new partner, John. Officer John couldn't deny the feeling he had in his heart. He knew he couldn't just leave the puppy behind, but he also knew he couldn't take it with him to work every day. He thought about what he could do and eventually decided that he would try to find a home for the puppy. Over the next few days, Officer John asked around the neighborhood to see if anyone knew who the puppy belonged to. He even put up flyers, but no one came forward to claim the little dog. As he walked through the streets, the puppy continued to follow him, wagging its tail and looking up at him with its big, hopeful eyes. This puppy was not just adorable, but also a determined one, and he seemed to know that Officer John was a good man. John also found himself looking forward to seeing his little friend every day, and this little puppy was always at their favorite spot waiting for him. One day, as they were walking, Officer John realized that he didn't want to let the puppy go. He knew it was a big responsibility, but he also knew that he could provide a good home for the little dog. He talked it over with his wife, and they decided to adopt the puppy. They took it to the vet, got it vaccinated and dewormed, and gave it a warm, loving home. The puppy thrived under their care, growing stronger and happier every day. Officer John named him Lucky because he felt lucky to have found such a great companion. Lucky quickly became a beloved member of the family, and Officer John's colleagues at the police station would often ask about him. They loved hearing stories about Lucky's antics and how he had stolen their hearts. Over time, Officer John realized that Lucky didn't just steal his heart. He also chose him specifically. He had never felt such a deep connection to an animal before, and he was grateful for the joy and companionship that Lucky brought to his life. As he reflected on the journey that had brought Lucky into his life, Officer John realized that it was not just a coincidence, it was fate that had brought the little puppy to him, and he knew that he would always cherish the memories of their time together. The little stray puppy had started out as simple acquaintance, but had quickly become a loyal companion, a source of comfort and joy, and a reminder of the goodness in the world. Indeed, the best things in life sometimes come when we least expect them, and even the smallest creatures can have a big impact on our lives. If you can relate to the story in any way, leave a comment below or tell us what you think about Lucky and his owner John. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel.